I have a miss. I, something's missing, Ryan. What is it, Patrick? That's my, it's my heart. Dimension? A bottle of scotch. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Oh. I have no idea. Don't look in my desk drawer. Uh, where is my heart? Uh, that yeah, that is that is an actual name of a game. It is a PSP mini, you know. Or it's a it's a mini. Yes. Well, I still I think well, I think they're called PS minis. Maybe I don't know. Because there are, well, it's a weird distinction because there are some that only work on PSPs and there are some right. that can be played on both the PS3 and the PSP. We're playing on the PS3 here. We are. Uh, so this is one that is compatible with both. Yeah. Uh, where's my? It comes out of the uh, Copenhagen Game Collective, uh, which is uh, these 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 dudes uh, over in Denmark. They're you know, loosely connected group of developers. They're also some, like real experimental shit. Yeah, over there. Like yeah. The Johann Sebastian Joust. Uh, they also did that game Button. Okay. Uh, which it's just, it's a seen builds of that IGF and stuff like that. That game, you're all these little different mini games where you're just pressing one button and the game is instructing you to do things. So, so basically, weird game. Real weird, super indie. If if the uh, yeah. if the pixel art style here at the menu didn't tip you off to that already, uh, what you're about to see definitely will. Patrick, let's uh, let's I guess start a fresh game here. So this start this starts out pretty simple. Like this, the the, the game gets, it looks like your traditional sort of oh man, yeah, here's another indie platformer with pixel graphics. Uh, and it, in a lot of senses, it, you know, it definitely is that. Uh, but you know, the nice thing about the the game is kind of in that I don't even know what genre like that 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 very popular subsection of independent games. Uh, you get some really creative, some really creative things. And this game is uh, definitely not an exception. So you have three characters, three dudes. You got your Bat King, mm -hmm. you got Orange Lady, and you've got brown, brown off-brand oh. Domokun here. Oh, there you go. And so, so, so this... a little color coding kind of already being uh, kind of uh, related to the to the player here. Yeah, and, the, and this game starts out simple enough. Looks again, this looks like a platformer, but the twist is. When well, this game kind of switches into some comic book panels. The twist is literal. Whoop. And then, yeah, this game is actually oh. loosely inspired by uh, uh, the designer of this game, uh, Bernie's last name I would not be able to pronounce, so I'm just not going to. It's Danish. Because uh, it's Danish, and I'll just sound like an asshole. Uh, sound like an American. Uh, and so it, it was inspired by him going with his family into the forest. Uh, kind of getting in a fight and trying to kind of get their way out. Um, so that is kind of the loose inspiration for why there are three characters, because it is this Bernie and his two parents. But there are mechanical reasons for this too, which we will soon uh, learn about. Yeah, now that everything's in a grid, but it still looks relatively the same. So the, and the quotes at the bottom, if you're trying to kind of fill in sort of some of the emotional constructs of, of that story, which I'll get into a little bit more in a story that'll be on the site. All right, enough. well, let's uh, go ahead and uh, hop on over that. Uh... Wait. Oh, wait. All right, I... just run Let forward and then just, it's, oh, wait, you skipped that panel in the middle. Maybe I just, what says, what, what? hot, hot. What? So, what? Uh, so, oh God, that still, what? that still messes with what? me. Oh, I do like that she cries every time. So I would cry if I was in a pit of spikes. Uh, Bat King does not care. No, but Bat King doesn't. Care. So uh, yeah, non-linearity here. Name of the game. Which maybe it's that isn't the name of the game for a lot of 2D platforms. Like Fez has like some really weird perspective stuff going on. That, yeah. That that definitely seems to be a lot of the ways that, especially in the independent space, they're kind of. Changing your expectation of what a platformer can be is well. It's it's like the the underlying thing is so simple. It's jumping. It's and going left to right. And yeah, it's it's moving across the environment. It's you know basic survival, right? You uh, see, like even here, you see like the just it's off by just a little bit, but enough to just like totally throw you off when you're just trying to you know do a little line up a stack of guys. So, so filling these hearts, like you. The hearts are simultaneously important game items and collectibles. So it'll fill in those spaces, which allows me to jump across. Look, I'm in two places at once. I don't like that at all. Oh, God. But in later stages, you don't you don't have to collect all those. You have to collect enough to get you to the to the exit, but the, the rest are purely collectibles. Just for they're, collectible funds. Yeah, and there, there are no trophies in this, so it is merely if you want to see 
all the challenges this game has to offer, then you can go after all of those hearts. I am the Rainbow Spirit. I almost spirit feel like having sorrow. that's awful. I almost feel like having a good like sense of of spatial awareness almost plays against you. If you think about it too much, if then you like just don't worry about it. Like you just want to just start jumping around because you start thinking, well, how does this like there there are advantages to and eventually you have to kind of start figuring out like all right, where am I relative to the entire level? But if you right. think about it too much, you're just going to give yourself a all right, so we'll do that, which open that. A couple of. Uh, so, yeah, so some of these are, are color coded. So, yeah, like, you that's see brown. That, that one's brown, so only that monster can use right. them. That opens that up. So, now technically, you don't, need, you don't need this. Like, that just is a setting up that, hey, these are collectibles that you will come across as you play the game. But that one is not needed to get to the end. But you do need to get that orange I block. You need that orange one. Which is above there. So, there you go. Beep. Bop. And you wait. Get everyone to that exit. And you can't uh, continue on until everyone is out of the exit, right? So right. And so, yeah, so a big part of it will be that, you, you know, you may find a path for one guy to stack on the other two and jump to the exit. That's really not going to help you because you need to get everybody there. Unless you are, for example, uh, this character. This is, uh, so when you come across these color-coded ones, the white blocks, that corresponds to unlocking a special power. And each of them has special power. The the Bat King has the ability to kind of like X-ray eyes that will unlock secret platforms that the other characters can't access, but he can, uh, which will open up new pathways that allow you to get around. Uh, Here, this you, dude, you turn into a crazy deer man yeah. who can double jump. Why not? And is followed by ghosts. Right, so in, in this case, you don't actually... Oh, God, I'm confusing myself. You don't need to get all three to the exit because they're kind of following you with you all already. Oh, that's what the little okay, yeah, got those, it. Those are the other guys, and it, there will be a there's a mechanic later where you can send them to different spores around the environment to kind of get to kind of move them around. Jeez. So the, they're they're following you. This one, this one, is really weird. I mean, this is your first introduction to the other special power, which is the orange character. Whoop. I think oh. you gotta be lined up a little better. There you go. There you go. So this one, this little wind see, cloud. Yeah, it's a wind cloud. Now you've got you are divided into four spaces. I've had L and R. Oh jeez. I can switch those around. So that doesn't really all that all you're doing there is just giving you a, a better perspective on like here we can actually see what the space looks like. Right now, and, the, and the, this is the first introduction to that. So that's why this starts out with it all pieced together correctly. Like this is how the stage looks. Yeah. Usually when you go into it, it's going to be like this. Right. But with like three times as many pieces. And you're sure. only going to get fragments of how the stage should look. The other power this guy has, you do that in midair. You, you, can, hold, jump, you're, you're, you can jump from panel to panel. So you're holding that, uh, that Jumping jump. and then just hitting the panel switch. Got it. So now you can get so to I can't. Your... I can't do anything for those guys. They, no. they can't hop on. They can't. This is purely me and allows me to get to... Some Harder locations. spots. Right. We'll go get so, those. Go so get I get that. up here. Yeah. Which means I'm the orange guy. Now I've unlocked that. Which gets me those three spots. So the ability just goes away once it's fulfilled its duty. Oh, you can go back down and, and you can unlock it again. Okay. And the, the, it, that mostly happens because you don't usually need it, but as you get later in the game, things get really complicated and you're, you're juggling multiple powers and... You'll, you'll, you'll turn some on and turn some off. I like that your score is nine. Oh. Oh. Good There's job. A lot of hearts. Good Most job. Of them are you got later. a score of nine. Yeah. Uh, so this is. This shows where. Oh. This stuff actually gets kind of interesting. So you start. Start with this guy and. You just rotate around. You can see this is how the level. So this is the correct this layout. Is, this is the correct layout for the level. Yeah. I mean, you're missing pieces, you're missing corners. But you get a general sense of, all right, so I'm here, this beginning, I gotta get to there, now what what do I do? So Well, you're blocked into this little space except for that, there you go. And if you don't well, line it up correctly, mm, you'll die. So you gotta jump first. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you're sort of lined up. And that allows you to kind of like cheat a little bit, you know, where you can kind of jump. Uh, and you'll, you'll end up kind of playing with the system to see what are the limits are in terms of, you know, how can you mess with the spaces to, to kind of get your guy into a spot that maybe he really shouldn't be that way, like it's not the correct way to do it, but... You, you can you can kind fudge of fudge it a little it. bit. Yeah, sure. yeah. Which, and the game encourages that. Like it, it encourages experimentation. So in this case, you know, you, you, this is 
a little more complicated because you have this gridded layout. And you got to get up there because there's no way to get up there if you switch to these dudes. It's not like you can stack them. Stacking would allow you to get up there pretty easily. So if you're in the center, that doesn't really help me. Oh, in fact, it hurts. But you'll see that that piece on top rotates around into spaces that I'm in. Right. And that's what key to this guy is spaces that you can get to. So, you know, like, as you're rotating it, it's, it can be kind of confusing to kind of keep in track. So it's nice that they kind of let you keep rotating as long as you want. Like, like oh, my God, I forgot how this is supposed to look. Here, wait, no, I'm supposed to go here. That gets me this. And you fall in that center block. Those open up get those. Rid of that door. And it would have been easier if I had rotated those pieces back, so but, this didn't look so <laughs> fucked up. But now, you, well, now, well, now it's like a comic book panel where yep. each one's like, yep, there he runs, then he runs, and then he gets there. And there will be often times where the, 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 the map pieces are so big that they are out of your ability to see. Now, in those instances, you're not going to have to mess with those. It's not the game like it's trying to get you to jump to invisible spaces. So this is a case where it seems like it's really zoomed in. You see the characters are very very large, and so you you it's it's kind of it's oddly claustrophobic. Like you you don't get a great sense of no. You have no like you know it's small, but everything is so weirded up. And I, and I imagine that if you were to grid this out, it would help. But you would just lose all. Uh, you just lose but, all but, perspective but the fact that, so quickly. But the fact that the only way for you to successfully uh, uh, navigate the stuff is, or levels like this, is through the rotation. Right. Uh, keeping track of that seems. But crazy, you can kind of so. you can kind of try and. All right, so I got that, and I do this. What gets me over there? Oh, that gets you in the water. Get me over there. It's kind of a matter of like, all right, well, the only things I can do here are jump, and it's a matter of like, okay, well, that gets me up there, so does that put me in any position? No. That got me one, but that uh. didn't help me with... Those are just collectibles, so right. that's that's really not... So those, those hearts are separate from the block hearts. Exactly. Got it. So now you see, okay, well, I caught... Oh, there it is. You had it? Yep. There it is. Boop. You get all those. That's and you want, you want to be careful you don't mess this up, because if you weren't paying attention to what you did... It's your your luck will not help you in, a, in trying to pull it off, pull off a second time. The later levels that becomes explicitly clear how how much I wasn't paying attention to what I just did to pull <laughs> something like, off. Wait, I did that and I need to do it again, but I have no and idea I, how. Now I'm back. I'm back at square one. In fact, I'm more confused because I got I got it and I was like, oh, I, I, know, I, I know how to do it. N no, no, you don't. Um, so I don't want to show too much more of this game. It's uh, it's only 25 stages. Um, it doesn't really start getting challenging until about halfway through, but uh, this it, it just, just gives you a sense of where it's going. It just kind of gets weirder and weirder so this is as where, you go forward. This is Where's My Heart. It's a mini. You can play it on your PSP or yep. on your PlayStation 3. It's, yep. uh, I think it's around six ninety nine, seven yep. bucks. Yep, yep. It's, it's, it takes you, you know, two or three hours to finish, depending on, you know, how, how much the puzzles give you kind of kind of worked over. But it's uh, it's just a weird, interesting game. And Absolutely. if you're a platforming fan, if you're a puzzle fan, it's... It does some really cool stuff with that, and it's kind of my favorite genre. And so this is a, you know, it's kind of got once a little bit of an emotional punch to it. If you want to look into that, the the quotes that are in between each stage, uh, kind of give you some additional context if uh, if you want to read into that. But, but it's uh, but it's never it's never holding your hand on any of the mechanics. It's it's never no, uh, stating this, anything explicitly. This no, is, this is very much experimentation. You know, it's it's got a, kind of a braid flavor of like here are things you can do. Now figure out how to actually employ that stuff. Exactly, and it, and it wants you to find out on your own. And so hopefully I, we haven't are, we haven't ruined the experience here, but we, we're only just showing you the just scratching the surface with some of this stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. It's a it's, I had never downloaded a mini before, so now I can check <laughs> that off of my of my list. Uh, and it definitely seems like this is a, a mini worth checking out. So Patrick, thanks for uh, giving us a look. Sure.